Hello, my name is Paul Setner, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Advanced Solutions Incorporated. And today we're going to take a look at some of the What's New content in the 2012 products. And we're going to focus on Autodesk Inventor 2012 in one of its newest capabilities, the Eco Materials Advisor. What this allows us to do is take into consideration our material selection earlier on in the design and engineering process. Let's go over to Inventor and start to take a look at exactly how we can utilize this capability. So, one of the earlier concerns we might have to deal with inside our design and engineering phases are material selections. What we can now do built into the Autodesk Inventor 24 product is utilize this new capability of the Eco Materials Advisor. I can actually start to focus on what type of material do I want to assign and pick for my different parts and sub-assemblies and assemblies to start to see what some of those downstream ramifications might be based on my material selections. So here inside of this dashboard, in this new panel inside of our environment, I actually get a nice robust default material library selection process to kind of analyze what kind of materials do I have to work with. So based off my different parts that I'm starting to analyze, what material do I want to start to assign? I can also look at the data sheets for that particular type of material to kind of get some, some information about that, that product and basically what it's typically used for go back to our assignments and basically for each material type I'm going to get different processes for that material to start to analyze All right, well, based on the type of conditions and the type of process I'm going to use to generate and create and manufacture that, that product the process I pick is going to dictate how much energy is going to be used for that product how much water is going to be used to utilize that process. What's the carbon footprint for this part? So I'm going to get a nice eco impact dashboard displaying the results for energy consumption, both for the material itself and then also how much energy will be used going through that process that I picked to actually make it. What's going to be the carbon footprint? How much water will be used? And lastly, based on the material that I select, what's the average cost for that raw material? So based on the size of my part, it's going to give me a nice display of basically just the rough cost of how much it's going to cost to build and manufacture uh, based off buying that raw material. Lastly, we have a few just different options to kind of display. Is it going to be acceptable to pass the restriction on hazardous substances? And also, if it comes in contact with food, is that basically safe if, that's, if that does come in contact with any type of food? Also, for some end of life. What kind of down cycle and downstream processes will this capture to see if it's going to be reprocessed, recyclable, um, and what, what avenue that's going to take uh, once we are complete with this material. Once that is complete, we can also start to set up some baseline options. So if we need to analyze and cross justify choosing between a different material selection, I can set this one as a baseline and that way go ahead and go back to my material assignments. We want to analyze, you know, what's going to be the difference between two different material selections. Once we analyze and decipher what different materials I want to justify for this selection process, I'll start to see what kind of impact that's going to have on my results. So I can see the energy, the carbon footprint, and the water are all decreasing but I do increase in cost a little bit. Going through a different justification to kind of see if that's going to be okay. And what's nice is when we need to go ahead and present this uh, with report, talk about it with management, we don't have to spend the time to document or write anything up whatsoever. Saving that downstream time from a documentation standpoint and create a nice PDF output file to analyze all my results. So whether I want to take a look at the consumption and eco impact of my current material or if we are starting to analyze different material selections utilizing our baseline option, I can start to see, well, based off the different materials I'm starting to work with, what kind of justification can we make for one material or the other? Lastly, I can also export these into my I properties for some downstream production purposes. those will come over automatically. So a very nice capability to start to get earlier on in the design phase, analyzing what kind of materials we do want to start to utilize. 
If you'd like more information about RS Inventor 2012 or would like a full demonstration, find us on the web or give us a call at your convenience. Thank you.